Mm. Yeah, if you look mm. at the the first, that column with one doses, what you kind of kind of see in there is that very few people in the population overall have had one dose, and some of the people who had one dose, some of them went on to kind of sadly die. On the three doses, you're right there. The vast majority of the cases are people who've had um, three doses of the vaccine, and that, that, that includes obviously the first, the second, and the booster. And it's much more than the kind of the unvaccinated as well. Even when um, Mark, you take into consideration the relative population size. And I think we put something up last week on this. And there's, there's a couple of things to probably talk about on this is that people who are unvaccinated tend to be less likely to come forward to testing. So you might find that there's fewer cases mm -hmm. in the unvaccinated. But I, I've done a chart for your producers, actually, just looking at um, the relative chances of catching COVID depending on your vaccination status. Yeah. So I don't know if they've got it ready to, to pop it up. Because yeah, let, this let's, is probably yeah, look at this. Yeah, I mean, let's just start with the actual um, the, the yellow box because that probably tells the story. And I'll explain what the chart's showing is basically then that most individuals in the country now have had a vaccine, this, you know, two doses or even three doses more than 90 days ago. And the likelihood of you testing positive for COVID-19 is exactly the same as if you're unvaccinated. So it's, it's quite clear that, you know, the, the vaccine companies themselves have said that the vaccines kind of wane after about 90 days. And the data is quite clear. This is ONS data. And what the chart shows is we've got different groups on the kind of on the axis. It talks about people who've had a second Pfizer vaccine within 90 days, people who had a second uh, Pfizer vaccine 90 to 100 days ago. So unless you've had a vaccine in the last like 15 to 90 days, you're just as likely to test positive for COVID. Now, going back to, to Maxine in Canada there, which is mm. talks a bit about why Trudeau is just off completely bonkers because the data is quite clear that people, he's basically saying that if you've had two vaccines or three vaccines, because I very much doubt in Canada, just as other parts of the world, I'm asking you what date did you have those vaccines. But you can, you've got freedom of movement if you've had these vaccines, but if you're unvaccinated, you don't have freedom of movement. And this charts quite clearly, uh, your remark says that if you've had the vaccine more than 90 days ago, the chances of you being testing positive for COVID is exactly the same. So these restrictions that Maxine yeah. or Britain are getting going to, to kind of the likes of Spain, New Zealand's reopened, but you've got to be vaccinated. They are absolutely yep. bonkers when you look at the data now.